Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant Boxing. Here with Ronnie Shields, boxing trainer extraordinaire. First and foremost, obviously the big news, you know, Jermel Charlo versus Canelo, undisputed versus undisputed. How did that happen? Like, I know Jermel was originally the one that was going to get the fight. But, Everybody you know. keeps saying Jermel was the original, the one. He, he wasn't. He was not originally the one oh, really? okay. to get the fight. So that was all just rumors. It was all just rumors, and nobody had ever called me and said, hey, Jamal is fighting Canelo. No, it was not like that at all. What happened, Canelo had a three-fight deal. They gave him a choice, who you want to fight. Gave him a list, and he thought, hey, undisputed versus undisputed. That sounds great. So Jamal accepted, and here we go. But Jamal Charlo never had to fight first. What do you think about that fight? I think it's a great fight. You know, stars make fights, and I think this is going to be a great style matchup. They're saying, Vihap said that, he's pulled, he says it's going to be an upset. It's going to be Jermel who beats it's a, Canelo. It's a possibility. It's a strong possibility. And obviously, you know, like, Jamal still wants that fight, regardless, win or lose. Of course. Win or lose, Jamal wants to fight. Absolutely. When can we see Jamal back in the ring? Obviously, one of the most exciting Hopefully, fighters. hopefully we're going to get back in by October. Okay, any possible names? No, not yet. Is, uh, is, is it is going to be like a, like a comeback fight? Like like just to shake off the, the power? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. They, I haven't talk, spoken to anybody yet about poss about opponents yet. So until you know, I get the call from the upper echelon, then we'll find out. And talk about, obviously, you have a strong, stable of fighters. You have David Morrell, you have Jermall, and we, you're here with Explode field. I mean, talk about that. That's, that talks a lot about the pedigree of the, as a trainer. Well, you know, it's it's great. You know, I love working with with the guys. I love helping them to advance in their career. You know, it takes a lot of hard work, and these guys all work hard. So we, you know, it's just part of the sport. And you know, and luckily, you know, I got some really good guys that I can work with. Who would you like to see Jamal fight next? And it's like after his. Tell you the truth, I don't know, man. I mean, I was hoping he would have got the Canelo fight, of course. Yeah. But since he didn't get it, uh, it's still a possibility down the line he can get it. But look, I mean, I don't know. I had to sit back and he hasn't fought in two years. So we just got to make sure we, we're we ready. Ronnie, obviously, you're a great, tra you're a great trainer. But Jamal is a great fighter. Do you want that fight not just for Jamal, but for yourself to prove yourself also? Well, no. I, I never got in this sport to prove myself. You know, I prove myself to my guys. Mm. And that's all that's important to me. All right. And lastly, any update on, on David Morrell? Nothing at all, actually. Uh, all I was told is maybe October. What do you think about that fight between him and, and Benavides? Obviously, like, I think it'll be a great fight for the fans. Yeah? Absolutely. Um, do you think it's too soon, or do you think it's... it's oh, no. He's, he's, he's ready for it now. You know, when I first started training him, they asked about that fight, and I said, no, he's not ready yet. Let me, I have, you know, I had one fight with him, and they wanted to fight him. Yeah. But now I got four fights with him. But now, you know, now they claiming uh, nobody knows him. But hold up, you wanted to fight him when he had four fights. Now he got eight fights. I say he's ready to go. Talk about that power. Where does that power come from? I mean, you, uh, you it's natural, it's, man. It's just dynamite in those hands. Yeah, it's just natural, both, both hands. Power in both hands. And lastly, big, big, big fight, big, biggest fight of the year, Crawford versus Spence. Um, one, one uh, Texas that's boy. a good fight, man. And I'm so glad to see that happen, just like all the fans are. And I just hope the fans come out and support it because it's going to be a great fight. Who are you leaning towards? And you know, right now I'm not leaning towards either one of them because it's hard to pick because they both bring so much to the table. And that's what makes this fight so, so intriguing. And I think people, people are gonna have to come and watch this thing in order to, you know, and to see how it play out. Because one round may favor another yeah. one guy, the next round may, be, and I think that's it's gonna be back and forth. I think it's gonna be close all the way. All right, and Ronnie, if you could make one fight happen, any fight, whether it's for your fight or any any fighter, who, what would you make? Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. That's a tough one, man. Yeah? That's a tough one. But i tell you one fight I would like to make, though. Okay. 
Philip Hokovic versus Usyk. Oh, you think you can give, give him some, some trouble? Give Usyk I know you will. Yeah? I know you'll get Usyk trouble. Absolutely. Oh. And lastly, last question. It looks like Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua is possibly going to happen. Pretty much done, according to Eddie Hearn, for December if Joshua beats Dillian White. That's, that's another that's another tough fight for both guys. You know, the thing about it is, you know, they both can punch. Yeah. So they both have the ability to knock the other out. And it's going to be whoever hit who first. Yeah. All right, anything you want to leave us with, Ronnie? <laughs> no, that's, a, that's about it, man. I see you man. working. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man.